guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Spring, and today we're back with a 30 minute Muay Thai class. In today's class, guys, we have a 10 minute warm up that's going to include skipping and also some technique work on the wall. So, if you're training at home, you don't have a bag, this one's great for you. Find a plain wall that you can push kick safely and rest your weight on, and you can get straight into the class today. We do need a skipping rope. If you don't have a skipping rope at home, just do some star jumps, or you can just shadow out the skipping rounds as well. Alright, moving from there, we have some shadow rounds. So, six rounds of shadow boxing. I'll take you guys through some technique work and some combinations to practice at home. And we're going to finish off with some conditioning using a box or a bench. If you don't have a box at home, guys, any sturdy bench will do as well. <laughs> And I'll take you guys through that right at the end. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, let's get into our class. So we're going to start with five rounds, alternating between skipping and also using the wall for technique work. So we're using the wall today for tips. So finding your target, finding your range, teeping, skip knees. So leaning your weight into the wall, knee, just like how you would be kneeing a bag. And the last thing we have is check, practicing your defense and then your target practice for your as well. So we'll alternate. 90 seconds of technique work, 90 seconds of skipping. Between the rounds guys at home, I want you guys to go into 10 squats. So if you're watching forward while I'm demonstrating next technique, keep your good squat stance, chest facing knee still, practice your 10 squats, and then go into your next round. Okay guys, so first round we're going to practice our push kicks against the wall. So target practice about your belly height, that's where we want to be push kicking. Yeah, so from here, in your stance, pushing with the ball of your foot, see? Swing the hand down on the same side that you're kicking and try and keep that nice rhythm going. Okay, 90 seconds, let's go. Alright, round one, push kicks, let's do it. Swing the arm down, keep your posture upright. Keep your chin tucked in. As your foot comes down to the ground guys, lift the opposite knee and drive through the hips. You want to be putting some pressure into the wall. Yeah? So through the ball of the foot, extend, and take. Always have one hand you got, chin tucked in. Keep strong stance, you're not leaning back. Try and keep upright. Reminder as well, make sure you exhale it. As you strike, breathe out. Done. Okay, my guys at home, 10 squats. Once you're done with 10 squats, pick up your skipping rope and let's go into our skipping run. I'm just gonna tuck my ponytail in because it gets in the way when I'm skipping. All right, once you finish your 10 squats, guys, catch your breath, recover a little bit, and then get ready for your skipping run. No skipping rope, replace it. Star jumps or just shadow skipping. Okay, we have five seconds. All right, let's do it.
Strain to pause. 10 squats, are you waiting? Okay, lean your weight into the wall. Drive your knee up. Point the toe as the foot comes down. Drive one leg back, we're swinging it. So swing, drive, swing, drive. Yep, yeah? so nice rhythm. Skip knees like you would if you had a bag at home. Okay, let's go. Skip knees. 90 seconds, guys. Keep your rhythm. Just try and get a big swing as foot lands. Swing your opposite leg back. Heel tucked in. You're gonna drive your knee straight to the middle. Find your range and rhythm. T. Check. T. 
deep. Again, exhaling with your strikes. Up to your teeth. Always return back into your stance. So I'm teeping to the belly, 
checking for a roundhouse kick. When I return for my kick, I'm trying to kick to their body. Again, so visualizing where you're striking and return back into your stance. Halfway, guys. Check nice and strong. So I'm here in this position, I'm checking. My weight shouldn't be falling backwards, yeah? Otherwise it'd be hard for me to throw my return kick. So from here, keep my weight balanced. So I can keep my return strike. Try 
gonna be explosive with that knee lift, guys. So after your teeth, when I want to show the fake, nice and explosive. So draw a reaction. Up, up. Drive your knee forward. Okay? Keep it up. combination plus uppercut so rear uppercut lead hook cross yes yeah, so three punches uppercut hook cross after you cross guys step across your front leg we're gonna go for a leg chop so attacking the front thigh so again rear uppercut lead hook cross step across kick all right let's go So entering in, three punches, step across, chop, back to your stance. Let's go. Fundamental supply guys, every punch, you still have a guard. Step across for the kick, same thing, guard, yeah? So still, shoulder up, chin tucked in, as you go for the leg kick. Here, leaning your weight to 
is where you're trying to kick. So in my stance, jumping, swap my feet, go into your knee kick. So again, push it coming, we move back from there. Perfect opportunity to throw a strike. Good guard. Only drop one hand. Trying to drop two hands for this one, yeah? Which makes it quick. We'll bring it back into your guard as well. Alright? From here, after you, hit. Back to guard. So, bump, bump, kick, and back. Again, deepen, kick. Recover to your stance. Always finding that rhythm. Rhythm in your stance and movement. Deepen, kick. So, that little step back just takes range away from that push kick guys. So take the range away, just like kick. Again keep the leg relaxed when you're kicking. I'm just turning my hip, letting it flow all the way through. Not holding tension in my leg.
you pull strong, lower the chest down as low as you can. Make sure your fingers, nice and even pressure into the edge of the box. Time! Woo! Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that class. We'll see you guys next time.